The Agromass POV 5XL is a perfectly functional little plow at a 2.5 meter length and a power requirement of 160 horsepower. It does weigh a whopping 1.6 tons. It will take you a while to get most farms done on this. However, it is a pretty functional plow and it doesn't cost that much. At only 16,000 pounds, it is quite a bit more machinery than you get with the Pottinger and a bit more length to boot. You can very easily use this on small to medium sized fields if you have the time to spare and it will pretty much run with most of the smaller tractors as well. It is worth noting that if you are going to use a small tractor with any of these plows you are probably going to need a front weight as well because again it does weigh 1.6 tons so the power requirement is not all you're going to have to look at with this. It certainly looks the part it's got some really nice blade angles with it and it's not a bad plow at all for the price. The Cavernland, and I've probably said that wrong, Ecomat is my go-to plow of choice. It is a decent price, an all right width, and it doesn't have a huge amount of power requirement. However, it does weigh a massive 3.1 tons, so you are going to need either a heavier tractor or a front load for this as well. It gets the job done functionally, it's got a really nice twist on it, and unlike some of the other smaller plows, you can actually have a pack mount on it. It is worth noting, however, that if you are doing plowing contracts, you do not want the plaque mount on it, or you do not want it to be lowered because it will actually stop the contract from being completed because it will do something to the ground and the ground won't recognize that it's been plowed and then compacted. So it is worth bearing that in mind as well. It is three and a half meters wide, so it's still going to take you a fair amount of time no matter what field size you're on. It's ease of use, it's small enough that you can get around places, you don't need a huge amount of like an area to turn around or anything like that. It's just a nice easy piece of equipment to use. Without the uh, packer mat on it's only 23 and a half thousand pounds. My go-to plow every time. The Pottinger Servo 25 is a fantastic little plow. It really does show that size isn't everything. Whilst you're not going to be plowing massive fields with this, it does have its place and its use. It only requires 85 horsepowers, it only costs £14,000 and it is only 1.2 meters wide. However, on a smaller field this will be fantastic and a joy to use. It doesn't have any customization available at all all and it is only going to be used as a beginner plow however for a starting farmer that wants to get used to getting their lines right and just really learning how plows work this is going to be a perfect training tool for you i really like this plow i've never used it but i really like the idea behind it i tend to stick to bigger fields where this really isn't going to be much use at all but honestly it's definitely got its place on the farm. The Curvenland PW100-12 is the biggest plow available in base game currently. It stands at 7.4 tons in weight. It requires a just enormous 360 brake horse. It has a width of only 6 meters, even though it is about 12 meters large. And it has a really interesting turning system where it will turn this section here and then this section here second. So it takes a long time to turn the plow as well. You can get it with a packer mat on it again. As I said in previous videos, the packer mat actually stops the plowing contract from being completed. So generally speaking, unless you're gonna be using this for personal use, you don't really want the packer mat on anyway. It also costs a just mind boggling 75,000 pounds. Personal preference, I would rather take a, a smaller plow and get the job done a little bit easier even if it does take a little bit longer it's just not worth the money to me it is a fantastic piece of machinery it has an enormous amount of use on the farm i just personally do not like plowing and i really really do not like this plow in particular i think the the, the amount of time it takes to plow does not justify the cost of seventy five thousand pounds also the amount of power you need the weight of it you need a fairly hefty tractor to be able to pull this and again it's just not worth that extra cost when you can get a smaller tractor and a smaller plow and do it just a lot easier 
The Salek PN2-300 is a quaint little plow. At a minor 0.5 meters width and a top speed of 12 kilometers per hour when using it and a requirement of a measly 12 horsepower, it's really a gimmick and I often tease people on my farm that I will use this as a punishment plow if they do anything wrong or misbehave and set them to work on a massive field with this little thing. It is designed as a gimmick and it is to be used with the old style tractors in the game things like the diesel and the old Volvo the DLCs and it's a nice idea and if you've got a really small field on one of the more realistic farms I can see it having a use. You do get a different attacher type as well you've got big and small for those different tractors but honestly outside of having this as a gimmick on your farm or like a centerpiece to just dot around as decoration I can't really see most people especially modern farmers really getting any use out of this the Lemkin Titan 18 is one of two massive plows in the game. However, for all of its length, the width is still only 4.9 meters. One of my biggest problems and issues with plows is that no matter how big you seem to go, it will always take you an age to get anything done. It weighs an enormous 4.4 tons. It has a whopping requirement of 300 horsepowers and you, again, still only get 4.9 meters width. The most egregious of these sort of things or problems I have with the plows is that it still costs you nearly 60 thousand pounds for this it's why i tend to go for the smaller ones because the benefits of getting a bigger plow do not outweigh the negatives they they really don't it's a nice plow it's good for larger fields but honestly i would still choose a smaller plow over this because the money you save is is just not worth the headache 